Mentoring is an essential part of the Growing Leaders courses and it's essential, not a recommendation. Because actually what we find is it's in the mentoring where most of the learning actually gets rooted in the leader's life. And when we get to the end of the course, so often the feedback is the mentoring is what, where people have had the most growth, where they got the most out of the course. Because you know what it's like, you hear a good talk, you, you, you're inspired, and yet as soon as you walk out of the room, you're, you're busy with life. Mentoring gives you that chance to meet with someone once a month for an hour, hour and a half to discuss what you've been learning and to think through, how do I apply this in my daily life? What is God trying to say to me while I'm taking part in this course? And so it helps us take our, our knowledge uh, and take us on a journey of transformation with what we're actually learning. So we need to choose our mentors carefully and that's not always an easy process especially for the first time you run the course. Subsequent times, you can use perhaps previous participants because they understand what it's about and what you're trying to do and achieve. But that first time, it's difficult. And that's another reason why perhaps starting with a small number the first time of participants is really a sensible way forward because then you've just got to find a manageable number of people to mentor. It may be that you can't think of people in your church the first time to do that. Maybe you do need to look at other local churches. Or if you're running the youth edition, thinking who are the people in the church who maybe not ever have got involved with the youth work, but actually are really keen to get alongside just one young person for one hour once a month to help that person through the course. We need to think wisely, of course. We need to think about child protection policies that the church have. We need to think about where people meet. And especially if it's meeting up with a young person, it's important that the mentor starts to get to know the parents or guardians of the young person as well. Both courses have training sessions for mentors specifically. There's also some information on how to go about choosing a mentor, as well as a resource to give to prospective mentors for them to think through what is it that we're asking them exactly to do. There's also lots of materials on the website to help them as they go through the course. 